Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at a PS3 that won't read discs. So I got this on eBay a while back, so I'll power it on. Uh, it seems to be working fine. So as we can see, it powers on. And everything else seems to work pretty fine with it. So. There's the PS3 login screen. Well, I guess the boot animation. Oh, grab the controller. Um, let's see if this will work. There we go. So, that seems to work fine. But if I put in a game, so we're gonna try Fallout 3 New Vegas. It goes in fine and it gives the blue light, I guess implying that it's reading it right there. Um, but nothing. Oh, oh, maybe it's gonna read it now. No, I probably pressed some button by mistake. My controller is also wonky. Um, yeah, I don't think it's gonna read it. Plug in maybe a USB cable. So yeah, if we, I don't know what's going on here. As you can see, it's not, it's not doing anything. It's saying it's reading it, but there's no, like I don't hear it spinning. And in the game section, there's literally nothing. I think something's also wrong with my controller. So I'm gonna try to open it. I'm gonna try to open it up um, and see if that works. Um, it does have a. Uh, let me see if you guys can see it. Where is it? It does have the warranty sticker intact. So I'm assuming that's going to make it work just fine. But when I open it up, but we'll we'll find out and see. All right. So I haven't done one of these guys in quite a while. Um, so I think the first thing I gotta do is take off this top lid to uh, get the screws and to do that, like I said, our warranty sticker is still intact, so we can just peel that off. Yep, so this little piece comes off, and then there, I believe, in here, it's a T10 screw. Yep, T10. And the top comes right off. Put that to the side. Put that under there. Um, let's see. So, let me just make some space. Okay. So, since we're only replacing the drive, I believe we just need to take out. these screws so there's one over here one over here one over here one here one here one here one there so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about so 
sorry. Let's go in there. In there. In there. In there. Right there. Right there. And right there. So there's actually a locking tab over here that you need to push in and then you just flip it forward and there you go, top case all. <coughs> uh, so like I stated, we're not really working in much, we're just, we're just focusing on this because this is our main issue. So all I need to do is figure out how to, uh, don't even have to take it apart, you know? I'm just gonna lift it up and make sure, okay. So there's one cable here. Let me see if I can. This cable right here. Pull it off. And then don't lift it all. Well, I'm not gonna lift it all the way because I can see. Flip it over. Ribbon cable. Up oh, and over. So. Like I said, this PS3 was bought off of eBay and it actually looks very crisp. So there isn't, you know, much to clean or anything, but I'll probably give it clean, maybe change the thermal paste. I don't really know. Um, so let me put that aside. So this is our drive. Basically, if it doesn't work, I believe we can either get a new laser for it, or we can just swap out the whole drive, but you have to take the the uh, motherboard inside the drive to a new drive for it to work. So I believe to do that, looks like we're gonna go in the bottom. So there five screws. I'm going to take off those five screws and hopefully it will come off. So now we're using a smaller Phillips screwdriver. You know what? We get, I'm actually gonna skip all that and just pick up on the shelf because this is actually what we're after. So you don't actually need to remove anything, you would take off the clip. If you're trying to get in there and switch 
switch around like this, but this is what I need. So this right here is the main board. So to move that, we're just gonna move one, two, three. The first one. Pull it out. Second one. Lift up. Third one. Pull out. So from here, I just need to get another drive. Let me do that. And then I'll show you guys putting it back in and doing it back together. If this doesn't work, I think I might have to jailbreak it. Because I was reading online that if you jailbreak a PS3, so if you're having the same issue like me, and you're trying a replacing Blu-ray drive, as you can see, we have one over there. I have one somewhere else. And this is the brand new one that I got off of eBay. If none of those work, apparently if you jailbreak the PS3, you could just pair it with any Blu-ray drive, so you don't even have to have a matching PCB. So let me just uh, bring you guys up a little bit. Here we go. And we'll try out the Blu-ray and see if this gets us anywhere. Okay, um, I'm gonna try the usual. Fallout. 
seems promising. Oh, I think it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Yes, yes, yes. So the issue we were having was my two used drives, drive A over there, and the one that came just weren't working. Um, so we actually have a successfully working PS3, as you can see. Over there, blue light is on, and all of our information is it's loading trophy data over there. So we should be good to go. Um, from here, I just wanna, I just wanna put it all back together, and then we'll get back to you guys once I have it all back together. Uh, but there you guys have it. We successfully fixed the PS3 replacing the Blu-ray drive If you guys like this video give it a thumbs up Like comment subscribe if you don't do the same. It's all good um, Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video